When we began to prepare this, the first edition of this text over 30 years ago, we had surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Today, we now have a fourth modality that can join surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, and that is immunotherapy that takes advantage of stimulating the body's own immune system to fight the disease. We don't use a scalpel, a radiation beam, or a drug, but rather attempt to alter the body's own ability to fight the cancer. And we've seen profound improvements in the treatment of certain types of cancers with immunotherapy, especially melanoma, where we have a variety of treatments, interleukin-2, uh, the first effective immunotherapy introduced uh, in 1985, and that's covered extensively in the, in the text. The new checkpoint modulators uh, are covered uh, as well. Uh, and we're now into gene therapy, where we're genetically modifying the immune system. The book is updated every three months so that it's always up to date in terms of this new information as it evolves. In fact, our cancer textbook is the only cancer textbook that consistently updates information uh, as new information is, uh, is derived that's of value to the physician. It's just as important to provide an adequate treatment as it is to support patients uh, through end-of-life issues if the treatments don't work. And we put a great emphasis on each one of those aspects uh, in this uh, textbook. We look at the basic molecular biology that underlies disease. We talk about the combined modality treatment, and then we talk about genetic counseling of patients as well as end-of-life issues. And so we feel we cover the complete gamut uh, of information that's required to provide patients not only with the best cancer treatment, but with the best quality of life as well.